These are your coaches. Current world champion, Dominic Cruz. Former world champion, Uriah Faber. This season, we go live. Every fight on Friday will be live. Oh, oh, you better oh, scoot his hips out nah, the back that's door. tight, that's tight. Yeah, that's it. Got it. Yeah. Keep going, keep going out the back. Keep going out the back. Come here, come here, I was on time well. Sealing up the guillotine choke there. He gets a $5,000 bonus and is moving into the house. That's a, that's a, let me ten. Got it, got it, yeah, yeah for sure. He's got it. Stop! Nice. He's Good solid, fight. man. Good, Good fight. fight. Cristiano Marcelo representing Brazil wins his fight and he enters the house on this special live series premiere of the Ultimate Fighter. Fight. Got it. Oh! Snap! Oh, right after that. They stopped it already? Oh. And make history, Cecilia did with that right hand. One of the 16 you will see over the season on the Ultimate Fighter Live. So Chris Tickle moving into the house, a huge opportunity for these My MMA time. prospects, and they are certainly taking advantage. Got it. He's got it. Uh, that was Big sad. John Tyler well. Well. got choked. That's it. Yeah, yeah he got caught and sticking off that front and got yeah, choked. That cut got him over. Yeah. Help help it All right, the winner by tap out in three minutes and 39 seconds of the first round and moving into the house. Pitchell. Hey! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop! Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. Good look, Matt. Nice. Looks good. He's solid. Very good. Very good. Grace, Matt, on the way. Love you, Dad. All right, winner by tap out in two minutes and five seconds of the first round and moving into the house, Kiesa. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Heel. Press no. it back. Arch your back, Mike. Minute and a half. Peel. Peel the hair. There we go. It's arch in the back. Good, good instruction. Good job. Good job. Good Rio. The Wolverine. Rio. So Mike Rio had finished seven of his eight professional wins. He gets another finish here and is moving into the house. In the octagon, I feel like my skills speak for themselves. I like to be exciting. I like to go out there. I like to put on a show for the fans. I'm the next Ultimate Fighter because I have a lot more experience than anybody else in here. He's hurt. Oh, He's wow. on the roller coaster. Oh. Oh. That was it. That, that was what he was, was going to oh. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Yeah. Holy oh. cow. We, we, oh. we, we, we call him 45 minute Mazzagotti. Wow. All right. The winner by TKO at 1 minute and 25 seconds of the first round and moving into the house, Lawrence. Drew Dober has won six of his last seven, and he's fighting to get his mother out of a rough part of Omaha, Nebraska, and back on her feet. I am a full-time fighter, and I uh, used to work as a baker. I started training when I was 13 years old, had my first fight when I was 17. I'm full of passion, but focused. Come with a lot of heart, and you better be prepared. Crookshank. All right, so Drew Dober doing a nice job toughing out the five minutes, but it was a dominant Darren Crookshank. We got some real guys here, tough guys, some finishers. Only a few fights went the decision. Get ready for the hardest 13 weeks of your life. Welcome to the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah. Al. Al Iaquinta was my first pick. He seems like he's got a lot of potential and a lot of room for growth. He's got good coaches back home with Matt Serra and Ray Longo. Miles. One fifty-five and a half. Yeah. Whoa. Darren is probably one of the one of the top guys on our team. I think Vic has some good hands, but I think in in other parts of his game he's lacking. I think Kirkshank's taking this one.
All right, so Team Faber calls you out into the first fight. You come through and get control for your team. What is it like to not only win the fight and move into the quarterfinals, but get control for Team Cruz? It's great. It's great. You know, I'm just happy. You know, I just I just got a first round knockout. You know, we get to pick the teams now. You know, I think we got a good chance to you know win most of these fights. You know, as long as we have control. So uh, I'm happy and everything. Everything's going good. All right, we're gonna take Justin Lawrence. Pick your best guy. Hmm. You're gonna let him pick his own guy? Yep. Interesting. Who's ready to scrap now, guys? Faber asked his whole team, who's ready to scrap? This would happen. Nothing. No hands! Oh, oh, oh! No hands! Oh, there's a triangle guy getting on the crack. So we basically just put a thong on his butt chin to hide up that crack, and I think we got the upper hand on him again. <laughs> so, Justin. This guy's a ledge on the ground. You know, his stand up is no joke either. You know, I just gotta use my speed and keep it on my feet, keep it standing. I mean, I, I'm focused, yeah, 100%. Faints, 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 faints. faints. We're always fainting. We're always fainting. Yeah. We're always fainting. Yeah! yeah. That was a pretty vicious knockout. Good. Yeah. Good. We're always fainting. Yeah. Tico decided to get a little hammered before he went to the fights, which was pretty funny. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Tico is hammered at the fight tonight. When he wakes up in the morning and finds out he has to fight Proctor, he's gonna <laughs> himself. <laughs> I get along with them. But you know, a fight is a fight, and you gotta get in there and do your business. Dude, I, I'm in great shape, dude. Like, I've been busting ass, dude. I feel great, man, so I'm happy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> you stupid, dude. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Proctor got smoked. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to stay. I'm here to win this whole thing. It's no joke to me. You know, I'm, I'm really here to fight. Definitely watch this fight. It's gonna be a good one. What? What? What's up with you? You little chip today or what? Man, I always got a chip. I know you do. Yes, yeah, it's just right here. It's my belt. I already told you, you that. Knock it off. I already told you. Off, knock man. it off, dog. Whatever. Only thing you can beat me at is a short contest, Faber. Short time. Short time. Short time. Short time. Short time. Short time. He went in there, grabbed onto that, uh, you know, clinch, took him down, put his hooks in, and secured that choke. Come out, come out, come out of there. Tickle, out, out. Tickle fought it for a little while, but Proctor chokes him out with probably 20 seconds left of the fight. No, you don't understand. You say you understand and you don't listen. In order to understand, you have to listen. Shut up and listen. That's it. This goes for everybody, man. I'm not here coaching you guys. Just, just to be on TV, woohoo! I'm here to freaking win. Great Man, job, so Tickle. Asleep. You did good, bud. Favor, don't let anybody get you down, man. Nobody cares. Don't let anybody, you anybody get you down. Stay out of it. Hey, you're a warrior. Favor, just want you, you to know. Nobody cares what you have to say. Why don't you get out of here, you're man? A nobody cares. You look like a bum. You're irrelevant. Quit talking. Go get oh, your old. Go get your grandpa's Mercedes and go home. I'm here to win. I'm here to make a mark and to get into the UFC. Definitely not gonna let the judges decide this fight. I haven't let that happen yet in any of my pro fights, so I'm not planning on starting now. I'm gonna finish him. I just gave the challenge instruction, literally. Let's go street fight, man. I mean, this dude doesn't want none in this third round. 
Hitchell catches him and ends up finishing the fight. I try and look and I see this blonde woman come in wearing tight jeans, stilettos, a leather coat, man. And we have the 135 pound female world champ, Ronda Rousey, in the house today. She was really pretty. Did you take it on easy on Dominic? I know he didn't do any damage to you. Oh, man. <laughs> That's why you backed up the whole fight, right? I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Ronda Rousey. For what? She's my friend. That's why. Right. Brought her in to show the guys how to fight. Go inside and teach nothing. Teach overhand rights and guillotines. That's all you got. One arm guillotine today. You know that one all too well, bud. Now, last time, did I? Nope. We got the belt. Oi. I walked in and everyone was just like, it's a girl. There's always this little space next to her. I would have sat next to her. I'm not I'm not too intimidated by her. But I had a comfy chair already lined out. These guys haven't seen a chick in ages. And they get a girl in the house and they're like crickets looking around, all scared. I would say for getting the first girl to come into the tough house, uh, these guys kind of blew it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I put some saran wrap on the water hose so when they turn the faucet on, just spray water everywhere. Someone's getting blasted. <laughs> <laughs> Real funny, mother What? Real funny. Red team. Oh, let's do this prank again. <laughs> We basically wanted to violate Team Cruz's space. It's pretty smelly, pretty hot, pretty nasty. They're all lubed up. It's a cry for attention. I'm Uriah Faber, and I want to be on camera with my shirt off. All right, guys, welcome to the Coach's Challenge. This is my favorite part of this competition. It's the day when you, the fighters, get to relax, kick back, and all the pressure is on your coaches. As soon as the competition starts, Dominic flies through the rope. He gets right to the top of the rope quick. Uh, Uriah looks like he's having a little bit of trouble with it. Getting that 20 G's from Dana was awesome. My team was just pumped, man. They all got some money out of the deal. Show me the money! It sucks being in a room with Favor because he's always got something smart ass to say, you know? Never shuts up. And uh, we have this huge couch, and this guy sits like right next to me, and I'm just like, man. Why are you so close to me? I've been waiting to fight for so long. I've been scratching at the walls. I've been itching to fight. I'm an emotional guy, man. This is what I want to do. I want this to be my life. I want this to be everything. Puts his hooks in, stretches them out. Real taps. Loses the fight. I'm living the dream. On the wall it says, so real, it's unreal. <sighs> That's an understatement. This is unreal. Dominic blew his knee out, uh, training for the fight with Uriah, and has to have knee surgery now. ACL repair. Sucks. What are you telling? I was looking forward to punching you, man. Dude, Rhonda, man, she took it to you, bro. <laughs> I'm starting the rumor. She threw me on my knee. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna push him to his limit. I'm gonna make him break and I'm gonna finish him. Five. Kiesa and Lawrence is a good matchup for us. I feel like Kiesa is definitely the guy that can finish Lawrence. What was going through your mind after he dropped you with that body shot in the second round? Survived, man. He hit me in the body, and I knew that he was going to swarm me. I knew I had to get it on the legs. You know, I had to pull him in, not give him room to, to TKO me, but I recovered from the body shot pretty fast, and you know, I just had my fingers crossed. Just, I can dig deep one more round, and I got it, and I, I seized the moment. Oh. The reason I came here is to get a UFC contract, and uh, 
I'm gonna leave here with a UFC contract. That's it. Keep him close, Ogle! Well, we take a look back at the action. Ally Aquinta had the power going early and often, and there was the seminal blow, the huge right hand, followed up with a couple blows. Let's try him in the balls with the water bottle. Once, like, Cristiano jumped in between us, calmed us down, I'm like, oh, what did I do? Are you kidding me? I, I don't want you to kick out of the house. Who kicks like that? I'm fighting James Vick, and I think I match up well with him. The plan with Vick is just mix everything up, you know, strikes to takedowns, lots of feints. I want to keep him guessing, but I really think I could give him a lot of problems with my wrestling. He's not used to wrestling a guy with the exact same build as him. Get up here. Al, Mike. Square off, boys. Next week, live from the Palms, this is it to find out who will become the ultimate fighter. He has it. He's going to finish this, John. I quit to trying to hold on. Michael Chiesa has put him to sleep. And Michael Chiesa finishes the job. He is. The ultimate fighter! And now, the ultimate fighter season winner, Michael!